Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And iOS 14.4.1 has been out for nearly a week as to the filming of this video. And in this video, of course, I want to share with you guys my experience so far with this software after running this on iPhone SE second generation for nearly a week. I wanted to share my experience, a few bugs that I've come across, and what to expect Apple to improve within the next software update. Now, this software came in at approximately from 100 to 160 megabytes, give or take, depending on the device that you're updating. And the main feature, the main fixes here is security patches for iOS, but I wanna talk about everything else in between. In this video, we're gonna talk about the YouTube community poll where you guys provide feedback on how the software has been working for you as well. So let's just dive right in. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is battery. This is the number one concern for most users continue to struggle in the battery department for most devices. So battery hasn't been improved whatsoever with iOS 14.4.1. Unfortunately, Apple looks to improve battery with 14.5, which I talked about in my videos, still struggling on iPhone SE first generation. And most devices that were having issues with batteries on previous versions of iOS, you can continue to have the same issue or expect to have the same issues unfortunately with 14.4.1 now I do want to talk about Bluetooth here momentarily because there's been several issues with Bluetooth and you guys have also expressed issues with Bluetooth Apple is looking to improve Bluetooth with 14.5 as well but I personally continue to have issues and some of you guys have expressed issues connecting AirPods Max AirPods Pro and even just first generation or second generation AirPods, Bluetooth connection just isn't consistent, unfortunately. I do have to say, running iOS 14.5 on other devices, it looks like Apple has improved that quite a bit for other devices. And 14.5 is the software to anticipate because Apple is looking to address a bunch of issues with that software. This one looks to be patching a security issue within iOS that was something that couldn't wait. So while we wait for 14.5, 14.4.1 had to patch those issues. So we talked about the battery. Battery is the same. We talked about some Bluetooth issues. So there's also issues with third-party messaging service. So if you use Facebook messaging, if you use WhatsApp, you may notice that when you go to play your voice uh, memos or your voice messages, sometimes they freeze or they don't work at all. So yeah, there's issues with third-party messaging service in regards to having those voice messages work properly. Now, there's one issue that I've had myself, and that is with predictive text so if you go to type something you get your predictive text in top here of the keyboard if you use dictation on 14.4.1 when you go back to typing predictive text disappears which is kind of uh, annoying yeah that's a minor bug but yeah it's still here and that's something that hopefully will be addressed with the next major update so let's go ahead and take a look at the youtube community poll let's see what you guys have to say and of course the question is how is ios 14.4.1 working for you. Now we have approximately 4,200 votes so far. A 50% of you guys are having a great experience with this software so far. 14% of you guys say it's okay, but still buggy, which I agree. A 5% of you guys are just not having a good time at all. And a whopping 31% of you guys are simply not running the software. So let's head on over to the comments here of the YouTube community poll here and take a look at some of the latest comments. One of the most popular comments here talks about iOS 14.5. 5 beta 3 where battery is still draining some devices so unfortunately some of you guys continue to struggle with the battery as i mentioned now this comment here was talking about the bluetooth issues with the airpods as well as the issues with the third-party messaging services so as you guys know these youtube community polls are posted weekly and you can go ahead and vote and express your thoughts every week apple releases a new software you can see that most users are expressing their thoughts on how the software has been working so if you're having issues with your device you can read through some of these comments and this will give you a better idea on how the software is performing for everyone across the board but ios 14.5 is the software to expect 14.4.1 really doesn't address much the only thing that's fixing here is a security patch that we probably will never know about uh, or hear about in terms of details for the security patches apple never discloses that but this is my weekly follow-up some of the bugs are still here expect a major software update to launch towards the end of the month 14.5 to address bluetooth issues battery and any additional bugs with additional new features of course make sure to stay tuned here onto the channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace